Today our topic on colloid, what is colloid, their classification, preparation of colloids and their purification. So what is colloid? A colloid is a heterogeneous system in which one substance is dispersed as well very fine particles in another substance called dispersion medium. The essential difference between a solution and a colloid is that one of particle size while in a solution the constituent particles are ions or small molecules. In a colloid the dispersed phase may consist of particles of a single macromolecule such as protein or synthetic polymer or an aggregate of many atoms, ions or molecules. Colloidal particles are larger than simple molecules but small enough to remain suspended. Their range of diameter is between 1 and 1000 nanometer. Colloidal particles have an enormous surface area per unit mass as a result of their small size. Consider a cube with 1 cm side. It has a total surface area of 6 square cm. If it were derived equally into 10 to the power 12 cubes, the cubes would be the size of large colloid particles and have a total surface area of 60,000 square cm or 6 square m. Classification of Colloids Colloids are classified on the basis of the following criteria. First, physical state of dispersed phase and dispersed medium. Second, nature of interaction between dispersed phase and dispersion medium. Third, type of particles of the dispersed phase. First, classification based on physical state of dispersed phase and dispersion medium. Depending upon whether the dispersed phase and the dispersion medium are solid, liquid or gases, a type of colloidal system are possible. A gas mixed with another gas forms a homogeneous mixture and hence it is not a colloidal system. The example of the various types of the following along with their typical name are listed in table. First, dispersion phase solid, dispersion medium solid, type of colloid solid sol some colored glasses and gemstones dispersed phase solid dispersion medium solid type of colloid sol examples paints cell fluids dispersed phase solid dispersion medium gas type of colloid aerosol smoke dust dispersed phase liquid dispersion medium solid type of colloid gel cheese butter jellies dispersed phase liquid dispersion medium liquid type of colloid emulsion examples hair cream milk dispersed phase liquid dispersion medium gas type of colloid aerosol examples fog mist cloud dispersed phase gas dispersion medium solid type of sol liquid sol examples pumic stone foam rubber Dispersed phase gas, dispersion medium liquid, type of colloid foam, froth, whipped cream, soap, leather. Many familiar commercial products and natural objects are colloids. For example, whipped cream is a foam which is a gas dispersed in a liquid. Far fighting foams used at emergency airplane landing are also colloid colloidal systems. Most biological fluids are aqueous salts. With the, in a typical cell, proteins and nucleic acids are colloidal size particles dispersed in an aqueous solution of ions and small molecules. Out of the various types of colloids given in table, the most common are souls, gels, and emulsions. However, in the present unit, we shall take up discussion of the soul and emulsion only. Further, it may be mention that if the dispersion medium is water the soul is called aquasol or hydrosol and if the dispersion medium is alcohol it is called alcosol and so second classification is based on nature of interaction between dispersed phase and dispersion medium depending upon the nature of interaction between the dispersed phase and dispersion medium Colloidal salts are divided into two categories, namely lyophilic solvent attracting and lyophobic solvent repelling. If water is the dispersion medium, the terms used are hydrophilic and hydrophobic. First, lyophilic colloids. The word lyophilic means liquid loving colloidal salts directly formed by mixing substances like gum, gelatin, starch, rubber, etc. with a suitable liquid are called lyophilic salts. An important characteristic of these salts is 
that if the dispersion medium is separated from the dispersed phase the soul can be reconstituted by namely remixing with the dispersion medium that is why these souls are also called reversible souls furthermore these souls are quite stable and cannot be easily coagulated and discussed later second lyophobic colloids the word lyophobic means liquid heating substances like metals their sulfides etc when simply mixed with the dispersion medium do not form the colloidal soul their colloidal souls can be prepared only by special methods such souls are called lyophobic souls these souls are readily precipitated on the addition of small amount of electrolytes by heating or by shaking and hence are not stable further once precipitated they do not give back the colloidal soul by simple addition of dispersion medium hence these souls are also called irreversible souls lyophobic souls need stabilizing agent for their preservation third classification is based on type of particles of the dispersed phase multimolecular macromolecular and associated colloids depending upon the type of the particles of the dispersed phase colloids are classified as multimolecular macromolecular and associated colloids first multimolecular colloids on dissolution a large number of atoms or smaller molecules of a substance aggregate together to form species having size in the colloidal range 1 to 1000 nanometer the species thus formed are called multimolecular colloids for example a gold soul may contain particles of various sizes having many atoms sulfur soul consists of particles containing a thousand or more of s8 sulfur molecules second macromolecular colloids macromolecules in the suitable solvents form solution in which the size of the macro molecules may be in the colloidal range such system are called macromolecular colloids these colloids are quite stable and reusable true solution in many respects example of naturally occurring macromolecules are starch cellulose proteins and enzymes and those of man made macromolecules are polythene nylon polystyrene synthetic rubber etc third associated colloids micelles there are some substances which at low temp at low concentrations behave as normal strong electrolytes but an higher concentration exhibit colloidal behavior due to their formation of aggregates the aggregated particles thus formed are called micelles these are also known as associated colloids the formation of micelles take place only above a particular temperature called craft temperature and above a particular concentration called critical micelle concentration on dilution these colloids revert back to individual ions surface active agents such as soaps and synthetic detergents belong to this class for soap the cmc is 10 to power minus 4 to 10 to power minus 3 mole per liter these colloids have both lyophobic and lyophilic parts micelles may contain as many as 100 molecules or more preparation of colloids a few important methods for the preparation of colloids are as follows a chemical method colloidal dispersions can be prepared by chemical reactions leading to formation of molecules by double decomposition oxidation reduction or hydrolysis these molecules then aggregate leading to formation of salts example fecl3 plus 3h2o on hydrolysis gives FeOH3 sol plus 3HCl second method electrical disintegration or bradig's arc method the process involves dispersion as well as condensation colloidal salts of metals such as gold silver platinum etc can be prepared by this method in this method electrical arc is struck between electrodes of the metal immersed in the dispersion medium the intense heat produced vaporizes the metal which then condenses to form particles of colloidal size 
थर्ड मेथड पेप्टाइजेशन पेप्टाइजेशन में बी डिफाइंड एज द प्रोसेस ऑफ कन्वर्टिंग ए प्रिसिपिटेट इन टू कोलाइटल सोल बाई शेकिंग इट विद डिस्पर्जन मीडियम इन द प्रेजेंस ऑफ सोमोल अमाउंट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रोलाइट्स द इलेक्ट्रोलाइट यूज फॉर दिस पर्पज इज कॉल्ड पेप्टाइजिंग एजेंट दिस मैथड इज अप्लाइड जनरली टू कन्वर्ट ए फ्रेशी प्रिपेड प्रिसिपिटेट इन टू ए कोलाइडल सोल ड्यूरिंग पेप्टाइजेशन द प्रिसिपिटेट एडजॉर्ब वन ऑफ द आयंस ऑफ द इलेक्ट्रोलाइट ऑन इट सरफेस ऑन कोज इज द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ पॉजिटिव और नेगेटिव चार्ज ऑन प्रिसिपिटेट्स विच अल्टीमेटली ब्रेक अप इन टू स्मॉलर पार्टिकल्स ऑफ द साइज ऑफ ए कोलोइड प्योरीफिकेशन ऑफ कोलाइडल सोल्यूशंस कोलाइडल सोल्यूशन वेन प्रिपेयर जनरली कंटेन excessive amount of electrolytes and some other soluble impurities while the presence of traces of electrolyte is essential for the stability of the colloidal solution larger quantities coagulate it it is therefore necessary to reduce the concentration of these soluble impurities to a requisite minimum the process used for reducing the amount of impurities to a requisite minimum is known as purification of colloidal solution the purification of colloidal solution is carried out by the following methods first dialysis it is a process of removing a dissolved substance from a colloidal solution by means of diffusion through a suitable membrane since particles in a true solution can pass through animal membrane or parchment paper or cellophane sheet but not the colloidal particles the membrane can be used for dialysis the apparatus used for this purpose is called dialysier a bag of suitable membrane containing the colloidal solution in suspended in a vessel through which fresh water is continuously flowing the molecules and ions diffuse through membrane into the outer water and pure colloidal solution is left behind second method electrodialysis The process of dialysis is quite slow it can be made fast by applying an electric field if the dissolved substance in the impure colloidal solution is only an electrolyte the process is then named electrodialysis the colloidal solution is placed in a bag of suitable membrane while pure water is taken outside electrodes are fitted in the compartment as shown in figure the ions present in the colloidal solution migrate out to a positively charged electrodes third method ultra purification ultra filtration ultra filtration is the process of separating the colloidal particles from the solvent and soluble solutes present in the colloidal solution by specially prepared filters which are permeable to all substance except the colloidal particles colloidal particles can pass through ordinary filter paper because the pores are too large however the pores of filter paper can be reduced in the size by impregnating with colloidal solution to stop the flow of colloidal particles the usual colloidation is a 4% of nitrocellulose in a mixture of alcohol and ether an ultra filtration paper may be prepared by soaking the filter paper in a colloidal solution hand draining by the formaldehyde and then finally drying it thus by using ultra filter paper the colloidal particles are separated from rest of the materials ultra filtration is a slow process to speed up the process presence or suction is applied the colloidal particles left on the ultra filter paper are then strived with fresh dispersion medium to get a pure colloidal solution properties of colloidal solutions various properties exhibited by the colloidal solutions are described below first colligative properties colloidal particles being bigger aggregates the number of particles in a colloidal solution is comparatively small as compared to its resolution hence the value of colligative properties are the small order as compared to value shown by the true solutions at second tindall effect if a homogeneous solution placed in dark is observed in the direction of light it appears clear if it is observed from a direction at right angles to the direction of light beam it appears perfectly dark colloidal solution viewed in the same way may also appear reasonably clear by the transmitted light but they show a mild to strong opalescence when viewed at night angles to passes of light the path of beam is illuminated by a bluish light
This effect was first observed by Faraday and later studied in detail by Tyndall, and it is termed as Tyndall effect. The bright concern cone of the light is called Tyndall cone. The Tyndall effect is due to the fact that colloidal particles scatter light in all directions in space. This scattering of light illuminates the path of beam in the colloidal dispersions. Tyndall effect can be observed during the projection of picture in cinema hall due to scattering of light by dust and smoke particles present there. Tyndall effect is observed only when the following two conditions are satisfied. First, the diameter of dispersed particles is not much smaller than the wavelength of the light used, and second, the refractive index of the dispersed phase and the dispersion medium differ greatly in magnitude. Third, color. The color of colloidal solution depends on the wavelength of light scattered by the dispersed particles. The wavelength of light further depends on the size and nature of the particles. The color of colloidal solutions also changes with the manner in which the observer receives the light. For example, a mixture of milk and water appears blue when viewed by the reflected light and red when viewed by the transmitted light. Finest gold soul is red in color. As the size of particles increases, it appears purple, then blue and finally golden. For Brownian movement, when colloidal solutions are viewed under a powerful ultra microscope, the colloidal particles appear to be in a state of continuous zigzag motion all over the field of view. The motion was first obeyed by the British botanist Robert Brown and is known as Brownian movement. The motion is independent of the nature of the colloidal but depends on the size of the particles and viscosity of the solution smaller the size and lesser the viscosity faster is the motion the brownian movement has been explained to be due to the unbalanced bombardment of the particles by the molecules of the dispersion medium the brownian movement has a stirring effect which does not permit the particles to settle and thus is responsible for the stability of souls